in 2002, early 2002, Ike and I ended up going over to Pakistan, up into the Northwest Frontier Province region, uh, right along the border with Afghanistan, ended up working with some tribal elders and a camp, refugee camp there, right after 9-11 and the 2001, and we just bombed Afghanistan, and there, all the refugees were streaming across from Afghanistan into Pakistan, and it took us like 10 days to get all the way from the south of Pakistan, Karachi, all the way up into that part. We got into one of the camps, and and we went to uh, try to give them a training, you know, like we do a workshop here in the States. So there are about eight languages going on. About 40 elders came from all over the, the region of the camps. They came, these elders came, and they were like very confused. What the hell we were doing there? What was, what, where's that food, the medical supplies? The, you know, they just couldn't get it. They had a lot of pain. Tremendous amount of anger and hurt and just, just it's suffering that they've been through. And they, they saw us as kind of representatives from the West, and they just poured out their hearts to us. And we just listened for two days, basically, to empathize with them through this translation that, that was challenging uh, through all, with all the different languages. And then, but we just kept listening and empathizing and hearing their needs. And, and then on the third day, uh, one of them invited us to uh, the mosque. Half the room immediately said, no, you can't do that. That's wrong. That, you, they can't come to that. That's, that's their outsiders, infidels. You can't do that. So immediately there's a conflict in the room it broke out right in front of us, you know, 40, 40 elders starting to get into it with each other. And I am immediately thrilled because we have a conflict. We can show them what they're, what they're there, you know, this, these skills of resolving conflicts and NBC skills. And I turned to Ike to kind of share that. Hey, Ike, isn't this great? And he looked petrified, but luckily I was just too oblivious and too like excited. So I just got everybody calmed down and I said, hey, could I get two people up here in the front of the room and do a little mediation as I saw Marshall Rosenberg often mediate between people in workshops and he'd tell stories about it. So I think I can do this. I can do this, you know. So I got, you know, the person that invited us and I got a representative from the folks that thought that wasn't right, wasn't okay. And I mediated. I can, I kind of together. I took the lead, mediated. And eventually uh, we got the needs on both sides. Uh, to, you know, you know, hospitality and connection and sharing. And then on the other side, protection and safety and respect for the traditions, right? And then I said, does anybody in the room not have all these needs? And there's kind of this silence. And then, oh, yeah, right. We all have these needs, these basic human needs. And then and I said, how about we all work together and find a solution that gets these needs met for everybody in the room? How would that be? And they were just kind of a little stunned. And then they started <laughs> kind of smiling and like nodding. Okay, okay, cool. Actually, Tate, most of the time took getting them to hear each other and connect to each other's needs. And we got to that part. It didn't take all that long before a, a strategy emerged that, that worked. And uh, everybody always wants to know what it was. So I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, because I'm sure people in the audience, some will be curious. first iteration that was kind of close was like, oh, how about we just go there and we stand outside and, and then we don't go inside. And I said, is that okay for you, elder that wanted us to come? And he was like, well, you're still not getting the experience. It's not really. So what if we go and we, you know, we sit right in front, but the doors open and we don't go inside. How would that be? He said, well, that's close, but it's, you don't really know what's going on. And then the final solution that came was how about somebody sits with us and tells us what's going on, but we don't actually go inside. We look inside, we're right at the door, but we don't go inside. Someone's explaining what's happening. Would that work for you? And he said, yeah, yeah, that would work. And then I turned to the elder that was, had reservations, and he said, yeah, that would meet my need for safety and respect. And, da -da. and then I turned to the whole room and I said, so we did it. We, we found a solution together to meet all these needs. And there's this pin drop silence for a moment. And then they started clapping and cheering and everybody stood up and all animated talking to each other. And this most senior elder of the whole camp came over to us and he said, yeah, that, he said, I like to try to resolve conflicts in other ways like this, but this was really impressive. And he said, I think if we knew how to do this, we wouldn't have to fight anymore. 